Today, I get to chat about one of my favorite Illustrator tools. It might even be the favorite. Drum roll, please. It's the Shape Builder tool. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mikkel Drew Pelham. I am a digital fashion specialist teaching digital fashion design through my company, 383 Design Studio, as well as the Fashion Institute of Technology and Jefferson University. I talk about digital fashion design and software on this channel, so if that's something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. So I was searching through my channel the other day looking for a video on the Shape Builder tool to recommend to my students, and I realized I don't have one, which is totally bizarre because it's one of my favorites. So that's what I'm talking about today, and if you've never used it or seen one of my videos in which I talk about it, Prepare to love how speedy and efficient your flat sketching workflow is about to become. The Shape Builder tool allows you to easily create shapes using the boundaries of existing lines you've drawn. For us in fashion, that means you don't have to think in patterns when you draw in Illustrator, which is how we normally draw by hand. Traditionally, when we drew flat sketches in Illustrator, you would almost draw them as if you were creating a pattern. For instance, if you were drawing a shirt, you would draw separate and closed shapes for the front bodice, the sleeve, the cuff, the collar, the placket. And we would draw this way because we needed those closed shapes. But when you're drawing by hand, you don't think that way. And when you incorporate the Shape Builder tool, you don't have to worry about thinking in patterns. You can just draw. And once you complete the initial drawing, when you're ready to create closed shapes, all you need to do is select the solid lines that form the boundaries of the shape you want to create. I usually select all the solid lines and create all the shapes at once. When you choose the Shape Builder tool, double click it and be sure the first option, Gap Detection, is turned on. With Gap Detection, even if you have small spaces between your lines, Illustrator will still close your shape. Once you hit OK, hover over the selected sketch and Illustrator shows the shapes it recognizes by filling the area with a grid pattern. And if you're happy with it, all you need to do to actually create the shape is to click in the area with your mouse. Now you might be asking why you even need the shapes. If you've drawn the sketch, isn't that enough? And if you're just using a black and white sketch to show a technical drawing or you need a sketch for a tech pack, it probably is. But most of us need to add color and pattern to our sketches so they can be used for other purposes like CADs, in catalogs, in presentations to buyers. And that's when the closed shapes become important because in order for you to fill that sketch with color or pattern or texture, the sketch needs to be made up of closed shapes. Now, I still use the more traditional method for more complex designs like jackets or coats. But for knit tops, pants, skirts, even dresses, I am definitely a team shape builder. It has really streamlined my workflow and made drawing and filling sketches so much easier and so much faster. Thanks for watching today's video. If you are new to Illustrator for Fashion Design or you need a refresher, make sure you check out the links in the description to take a class with me. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you found it helpful. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time.